Before we knew it, Jenny and I were sharing the familiar eight-hour overnight bus ride to Huaraz. I sneaked a peek at Jenny while she slept in oblivion next to me on the bus. Could this really be my Paris Cinderella? I really hoped she would. Oh, how I hoped that this trip would indeed bring us back together more. Funny, she was not even a paraglide pilot yet. She had only taken that one flight three years ago in the dunes with Lucho. But it was enough for me. She really could be the one she wanted to fly. Incafest came and went, and along with it various moments of work and play with Jenny. We hosted a major press conference together and got a good taste of what working together might be. I won an award with my sacred flight film at Incafest. and had a nice nostalgic moment at the Plaza des Armas in Huaraz. I was invited to host and personally narrate Ski Peru, the first film I worked on about skiing Huascaran back in 1978, Peru's highest mountain. In this type of work, I wanted someone in my life to share my projects with. And that too seemed to be working out with Jenny. We continued doing television interviews for Incafest and planting more seeds for Exandis together. I was back in Lima again. It's really quite amazing at the traffic and hustle and bustle of this incredibly huge city. After all, Lima was a real megapolis of 12 million people. But the traffic just moves so much faster than in Vancouver, and you can catch a motor bus every 30 seconds. Not like a half hour wait for a bus back home. You do feel as a chicken being a pedestrian though. You really have to run for it to make it across the street. They drive so fast here and well, you just do not exist as a pedestrian to them. You are on your own to make the dash across the street without being hit. I thought that meeting Jenny's family would be an important step in somehow creating our bond in the future. One of Jenny's uncles was celebrating his birthday, and I was happy to be invited to the event. I could not help but worry about the impression I might make on Jenny's extended family. I was a foreigner here, and Jenny came from a family of five brothers. What would they think of the older gringo trying to make moves on their younger sister? Hmm, I was a bit worried. It started off a bit awkward for me. Yes, here are the uncles. And yes, here are the aunts. And some cousins. Da 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 da. But it wasn't that bad. Actually, really fun and entertaining. Jenny's family, well, everyone was just so nice. The party continued with dancing, and I tried my best to do the Latin trot. Somehow I was surviving through the whole ordeal and even felt accepted by her family. 
Jenny did comment on how several aunts mentioned who was that rather older mature man accompanying their niece to the fiesta. Hmm, yes, that age thing. That factor could still determine my future with Jenny. But why not? It was worth a try. But somehow I think I seem to have passed the test. There were many happy times and outings with Jenny and friends. Going to films, cafes, and then just enjoying Lima. Jenny and I progressed with the ex Andes project, and it had certainly brought us a great deal closer. I was never one to believe in just chemistry between two people only, or just that one magic moment. Love to me can only grow out of true friendship, and that is what I tried to show Jenny first, my true friendship and support. My teeth were finally fixed, and I could start practicing my full grin. One day again, we tried flying together. Jenny was to go on a tandem and me solo in Miraflores. I thought it might be a great way to finish the film. And so, we made the long trek back to the Paraglide Park. Lucho was here again, practicing some great antics in Miraflores. He was great at acro. I had met Lucho in 2007 and did some tandem flying with him with my broken leg. That was a really strange, strange ordeal. It was nice to have Jenny recall her first solo flight under his instruction. Three long years ago now. Lucho was in fine form doing some great acro maneuvers and the park itself was as busy as could be. Unfortunately, when time came for us to take that flight together with Jenny, the wind had turned cross. I shouldn't have launched, but I did. And it was not a pretty sight at takeoff. The crosswind did a number on me as I was trying to launch. My wing had partially collapsed. Afterwards, the tandems decided not to fly anymore. So Jenny and I never did get that parting flight shot together. Funny, but it did not really matter anymore. I knew that Jenny wanted to fly again when the time was right for her. As to myself, I had lots of air time ahead of me, and as far as a happy ending for Paris Cinderella and my destiny with Jenny, well, that's really for you to decide. If these really were the last moment filmed before my camera broke again. These are the last precious shots here in Miraflores, Peru.